हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर विश्राम का सुनेत्रा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश जे ए टी आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज मालेगांव द टॉपिक ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन इज द फेमस सॉनेट रिटन बाई जॉन किड्स ऑन द ग्रास ऑफ अ एंड क्रिएटेड on the grass of o and cricket is a famous sonnet written by romantic poet john keats let's focus on the poet john keats was born on 31st october 1795 in london england he died on 23rd february 1821 at rome He died of tuberculosis at the age of 26. John Keats is known as prominent romantic poet. This poem is a famous sonnet written by Keats. It is a Petrarchan sonnet. So it has two parts. Octave and sestet octave has 8 lines and sestet has 6 lines first we'll focus on the text the poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with hot sun and hide in calling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new moon maid that is the grass hoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he had never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed dear students this part is octave now sister The poetry of earth is seizing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought her silence from the stove there shrills the cricket's song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grass hoppers among some greasy grassy hills This poem is a fine piece of Petrarchan sonnet by John Keats. He wrote this poem in December 1816. This sonnet was inspired by the beauty of nature. Dear students, we find that usually poets find beauty in spring season and in good weather. but kids is different because he finds nature beautiful in all seasons including hot summer and cold winter this poem is symbolic poem the grass of a symbolizes hot summer and the cricket symbolizes cold winter The poet says that even when the birds stop singing during the hot summers the earth still sings the grass of a sings tirelessly during this time flying from the hedge the poet further says that during the cold winter the earth keeps expressing pleasure through cricket a cricket sings through the stones and this poem on the grass hopper and cricket the poet celebrates the music of the earth he finds beauty in hot summer as well as in the cold winter as grass hopper is a symbol of hot summer and 
cricket is symbol of cold winter the poet says that the music of nature or earth is always alive whether it is hot summer or cold winter during the hot summer all are sing all singing birds are tired they take rest under the shady branches of trees but even if they don't sing the song of nature goes on we can hear the voice of grasshopper who runs from hedge to hedge he keeps singing tirelessly and when tired he takes rest beneath some weed a grasshopper carries on the duty of singing he sings the everlasting song of nature his fun loving insect cheerful insect grasshopper is never done with his delights and even in hot summer grasshopper sings during the cold winter season the birds are silent there is utter silence on the frosty winter days but the earth has its own way of expressing pleasure and joys the song of a cricket can be heard which breaks this silence the cricket sings from the stones but not from the trees The song of cricket appears to be increasing the warmth every moment. People are able to hear it sitting in their houses. However, the poet says that to a person who is half half asleep, it may appear to be a grasshopper's song coming from the grassy hills. Thus we can say that the grasshopper and the cricket two tiny insects perform a big responsibility they carry on with nature's continuous and everlasting music irrespective of the extreme climates here the poet has personified them and this is why this poem is a symbolic poem These two insects are the symbol of constant joyous mood of nature. When the birds are silent in cold winter, the cricket sings, the earth expresses its pleasure, and when it is hot summer, the grasshopper sings delightfully tirelessly when it is tired it takes rest beneath some weed so here we can say that the poet has beautifully expressed the beauty of nature john keats says that the earth is always singing When the birds stop stop singing in the hot summer finding cool place we find the grasshopper singing and flying from hedge to hedge and singing tirelessly When the birds are silent in cold winter the earth never stops and it expresses its pleasure through different beings like cricket it sings the beautiful songs from the stones it seems to be increasing in warmth every moment and half asleep human beings feel it to be grasshopper song coming from grassy hills so through this poem the poet has shown that 
the poetry of earth never ceases it goes on through summer and winter so through this two tiny insects the poet has given a message he has given a message that we must remain happy even in extreme conditions life is some days a bed of thorns a puddle of mud a pothole on a highway and it might deny you happiness but life is going to respond to your attitude and happiness is always a choice so it depends on us whether we find happiness in the small things of nature or not the most important thing is to enjoy life to be happy and solve that matters thank you